changes the tool used in plan views to control what is cut and what is projected in the view. Click view range on the view instance properties. As you can see, each value is controlled with an associated level and an offset. The important values to adjust in a plan view are cut plane and bottom. Don't pay too much attention to the other values for the moment. The visible range for a plan view is displayed in blue in this section. If cut plane goes through an element, it will be displayed as cut, so with an additional thickness. Elements below the cut plane will be displayed as projected, so much more thin. You can see that the small wall becomes thick when it goes through the cut plane. If I adjust the window so it goes above the cut plane, it won't be visible anymore in the plan view. And if I move this window below the cut plane, it also disappears. View range for reflected ceiling plan is similar to plan view, except you have to adjust the top range instead of the bottom. As you can see, if we move the ceiling above the visible range, the ceiling disappears from the ceiling plan. And if I adjust a small wall to go through the cut plane, you'll see that it becomes visible in the ceiling plan. In almost all cases, you should make sure that the top value is the same as the view depth. If you like this video, make sure to check the complete Revit Pure's basics package. It contains an ebook, a complete video tutorial series, an exercise project, and a basic Revit template. Download the complete package at revitpure.com/basics.